Here in this example, we have one over a variable raised to a negative exponent. And when we have a variable with a negative exponent, for some reason, I'm noticing people are treating these examples a little bit differently than when they have a constant raised to a negative exponent or a constant in the place where we're used to seeing x. So if you are checking this example, I do advise you to also look at number 22 because that one is quite similar to this one, except instead of an x, we have a numerical value of two. Um, the exponent is also different, but I wanna make sure that you are handling that correctly. The final answer to this example should just be x to the positive five. I also recommend that you look at the video for number 24 because I go into an explanation about the number one on top and whether or not that is going to flip flop as well. Does that go to the denominator? Because a lot of you guys are doing certain things and those things are not correct. I don't know why this is like that. There we go. So I uh, hope that you understand that and I hope that you're not too um, overly confident and think that it's not worth it to watch. So I would definitely recommend that. To check out the next video, you could click over here and to jump to the playlist, you could click here. All right, sayonara.